Harrison, do you promise to take Glennis to be your true and wedded wife, and do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses to love, cherish, honor, and protect her, to forsake all others for her sake, to cleave unto her and her only, until death shall part you? I will. Glennis, do you promise to take Harrison to be your true and wedded husband, and do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses to love, cherish, honor, and protect him, to forsake all others for his sake, to cleave unto him and him only, and him forever until death shall part you? I do. Upon hearing this commitment to one another, to all of you who are gathered here today, do you, friends and family, agree to cherish and to honor and to support and encourage Harrison and Glennis as a couple in commitment to and covenant of this marriage? If you agree, please say, we will. We will. I think I heard that. Did you guys hear that? I think so. <laughs> it was important to, to Harrison and Glennis that I read this scripture, and you've heard it many times at weddings but I hope we hear it differently today. <clears throat> love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not conceited. It does not act improperly. It is not selfish. It is not provoked. It does not keep a record of wrongs. Love finds no joy in, in unrighteousness but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, love believes all things, love hopes all things, and love endures all things. Love never ends. Now these three shall remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. It says in the first part of this message that I can have all kinds of gifts, I can have the greatest knowledge, but without faith, I mean, and, and have all kinds of great faith to move mountains, but without love, it's nothing. It says that I can give my body over as a martyr, but without love, it's nothing. It, it also says that um, without love, I gain nothing. And the importance of love in the scripture, I, I, I can't emphasize enough. You see... Too many of us today believe that love is a feeling, and that's not true. We believe that love comes with chemistry. It's more than that. Love is a choice that we make every single day when we get up. We choose to love. We choose to act on that love. And that's what we do as a married couple. Yep. That's what love is. It's sacrificial. It's unconditional. There isn't a condition to it. It says that we... Men are to love our wives as Christ loves the church. And the church can be difficult to love because the church is not perfect. And the church makes its mistakes. And so we are challenged as men to love our wives, even though she may not be perfect. Although you are, Glennis. <laughs> and you better treat her as such. <laughs> but we allow for... A pre-forgiveness that we, we can never forget that we are helpmates and that we are here to help one another. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, you want to finalize this? Yeah. 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 Gone this far. I uh, take you, Glennis. Take you, guys. To be my wife. To be my wife. Uh, to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And there too. And there too. I pledge my faithfulness. I pledge my faithfulness. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 I take you, Harrison. I take you, Harrison. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. 
For richer or poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And there too. And there too. I pledge my faithfulness. I pledge my faithfulness. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 May have the ring. Because the ring is not what makes your marriage. It's what in your, what's in your mind and in your heart and the choice of love that you choose to do every single day. But this ring is just a sign and a symbol of your faithfulness. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. I pledge my loyalty. And my devotion. And my devotion. As long as we both shall live. As long as you both. In the name of the Father, the name of the Father, Son, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone is enjoying this warm and wonderful day so far. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alan. I'm an old friend of Harrison's, going way back 30 years. It is my pleasure and honor to be the best man today. I've never been the best man before and not renowned for my speech, writing, or public speaking, but I'll give it my best shot. Let's start by saying I think that you'll agree our bride, Glennis. Looks absolutely lovely. She, she didn't really look stunning today. Harrison, on the other hand, just looks stunning. <laughs> I know Harrison and Glennis appreciate you all being here to share in this special day. And thank you all who helped make this day happen. I first met Harrison uh, many, many years ago, about 30. Um, I had a band going and needed a bass player. And this mutual friend of ours that had sat in one night for a show and uh, had to stay with his band. And I asked him, you know anybody who plays bass? And he goes, yeah, the other night, jam night, this guy came in named Harrison. And uh, pretty good, pretty good. So he gave me the number. I called him. We met up. Bam. He plays bass like a mad dog. Could sing and really into it. It's definitely his calling is his music. So we jam. So many different bands. We guitarists would come and go. The two of us, as the rhythm section, I played drums. Um, we went through so many different guitar players. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> we had the PA in the rhythm section. All we needed was a few accessories. So. <laughs> and he was singing the song, so it's a pretty good deal. And uh, even you know, ran across like this guy Larry, the professor, a guitar player, extraordinary. But uh, made a lot of friends and. Uh, 
a lot of good times in uh, the whole music thing. So after that, we've just been uh, the best of meets. So it's, it's been uh, a long, fun journey. But all joking aside, it's really a privilege to be here today as Harrison's best man. He's a great guy, and as we all know, behind every great man is a surprised woman. <laughs> he is very fortunate, however, that it's Glennis, a lovely girl with a heart of gold and a nice smile. Perhaps the best thing I could say about Glennis is that Harrison is a better man now than when he met her. She brings out the best in him and makes him happy. Isn't that the most important part of a relationship? Finally, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to invite you all to raise your glasses to a toast to Harrison and Glass, the new Mr. and Mrs. Allen. We wish them well in the future and hope they enjoy a long and happy marriage together. So here's to love, laughter, and a happy marriage together. Don't make it bad. Take a sad song. Yeah. 